It was a day of glowing tributes to the former chief executive officer, Access Holdings, Herbert Wigwe, who died with three others in a helicopter crash in United States of America on the 9th of January. The ceremony honored his brilliance and excellence in the banking industry. The funeral continues today with a tribute to his late wife, Chizo Bawigwe, at 5 p.m. Here are sights and sounds from Monday's occasion. I remain eternally grateful to Herbert, who immensely supported me in the completion of our project. And he said that, look, my mentor, if I have to give you my life, I will do so. Let's carry on. To immortalize my beloved friend, my brother and mentee, I have actually decided to name our major refinery and petrochemical road out of the 120 kilometer. The biggest road will be now named Herbert Wigwe. Herbert has a Lagos story in his life. He was born at the Lagos Island Maternity Hospital. That speaks volume. Because indeed, he's an Isali boy. And we're going to own it and claim it as part of us. Let us remember Herbert, not merely for his professional accolades or material success, but as an exceptional leader. May his legacy inspire us to strive for excellence, to cherish our loved ones, and to live the world a better place than we found it. We are now faced with the fact that tomorrow is today. We are confronted with the fierce urgency of now. In this unfolding conundrum of life and history, there is such a thing as being too late. This is no time for apathy or complacency. This is a time for vigorous and positive action. Herbert's purposeful legacy lies in what he was about to embark on, a collaborative commitment to building an African continent we will all be proud of.